So hey guys welcome back once again and in this video I'm just gonna talk about one of the amazing model that's available right now on Stable Diffusion. You can definitely see I'm just talking about Illuminati Diffusion V1 model and yes this model is great in order to go and generate like higher image. So guys you can go and download this model on Civit AI website you can go and search Illuminati Diffusion V1.1 and yes definitely there are two files first of all let me explain you this thing. There are two files model safe tensor you can go and download and this is yaml file yaml file. If if you download this file you will definitely see it will download a yaml file this is yaml file just download this yaml file where you download this model as well just like i will show you go on to stable diffusion your local directory models just stable diffusion and just download it over here as you can see i have already downloaded this file so this file is necessary dot yaml file so just download it and paste it where you download the model as well that's how you download both of the model and like yaml file as well so guys after downloading both of this file model safe 10 and config file dot yaml file just come down over here you need to download three of these embedding files as well in order to work with like illuminati diffusion first of all let me tell you these three are different embeddings and fixer embeddings and art fixer and and real fixer so these are the three embeddings just click on every of the embeddings click on download and let me tell you where to paste it come on like stable diffusion web ui directory go on to like embeddings and just download it over here and let me tell you guys all of these three embeddings are made in order to use on negative prompt first of all so you need to use it on negative prompt, not on like positive prompt. So this is very important thing that you need to know about Illuminati Diffusion. Just as like over here, let me show you. See, these are the three embeddings that I'm using. N Fixer, N Art Fixer and N Real Fixer. So these are the three embeddings you need not to use on like positive prompt. You need to use on negative prompt. You can definitely see over here embeddings used N Fixer, N Art Fixer and N Real Fixer. So you need to use on negative prompt. So these are the three embeddings you need to download with like model files and yaml file as well. The next thing is that in order to like get good images or like good generations it is already shown over here go on to like 768 by 1024 or 1152 or by 1280 by 768. So in order to get good resolution you need to set high resolution as well. And the next important thing about this model is that in the main important thing is that this model is trained with noise offset in order to dramatically improve depth of contrast and color. So that's what makes this model so amazing and you can definitely see guys this was the result that I was getting and yes pretty amazing result as well. This time I'm not using like higher resolution 640 by 640 because I faced memory error while recording as you can see I'm just recording as well. So I faced memory error so that's why I'm going on with like 640 by 640 and you can definitely see this is the result that I got first of all and yes I'm not comparing it with like art and arrows. This is just for the reference I used xy plot with like art and arrows model and yes in this video i'm just using this model to refer with this model as well so this was the result that i got and let's generate one more time and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the result that we got pretty amazing result as well and one more thing i realized with like illuminati diffusion is that it really works great with like dark theme you can definitely see this is somewhat like a dark theme and yes a detailed image as well first of all we will try to generate some more images let's try to change the animal as well let's go with like eagle or something like that let's go with like eagle and let's see what result do we get so guys this is the result that we got with eagle and you can definitely see the result amazing amazing result this time art and arrows also got amazing result as well but look at this image just amazing result so yes definitely it works great on like darker side of the image and most of the time you will realize that it tries to generate some of like dark theme images so this is the result that I got and let's jump on to the next topic as well and let's see what result do we get with like next topic as well. So guys as you can see that's the result that I got. Let me first show you the prompt award winning photo portrait of a dark gothic girl. So it was a girl but we didn't got a girl standing outside a night city and that's all that I was using and you can definitely see the result. You can definitely get the reference from art and arrows and this model as well. See the details on this image. As I said earlier that this image generate amazing result with like dark theme and you can definitely see the result over here literally amazing. I just love this model in order to like go and generate some dark images. So that's the result that I got and let's go and try one more time and let's see what result do we get one more time and here you can see guys this is the second result that i got pretty 
pretty amazing we are not comparing with like art and arrows model as well this is just for a reference okay we know art and arrows generates amazing result as well but yes as you can see over here definitely and with like illuminati vision guys see this result pretty amazing and yes like i just love i'm just loving this model so yes that's the result that i got this is the second result with this prompt and yes like i just <laughs> i don't know why i'm just loving this model so that's the result that i got and let's jump on to like next topic as well and let's see what result do we get with like next topic so guys this time i went on with like different team and you can definitely see this is the result that i got i went on with like desert landscape oss with palm and water and you can see this is the result that i got if we compare it with like art and arrows model as well then definitely you can say that this result is pretty amazing look at the reflection definitely amazing reflection going on so that's the result that i got with like different team and yes let's try to generate one more result and let's see what result do we get this time as well so guys that's the second result that i got and yes pretty amazing result as well this time we got like deform palm trees over here and you can see yes art and arrows did perform really great with this result as well so one more thing i want to try is that let's go with like higher resolution as well so we will go with like higher resolution landscape resolution and what i will do is that i will just first of all close my stream labs and then try to generate and show you the result so guys as you can see that's the result that i got with like higher resolution you can definitely see 1024 by 768 and yes you can definitely see 1024 by 768 so that's the result that i got and yes pretty much like a detailed image here as well as it is said already on illuminati diffusion please note that the safe range for good generation is between 768 1024 or you can go around with like 1280 by 768 and yes so that's the way you can go and generate some amazing result and yes definitely you can see if i go like higher resolution the result are pretty much amazing here as well and that's definitely here as well so what do you think which image is great image you can definitely see that the reflections over here pretty real and yes i just love the reflection all of the reflections over here so that's the result that i got you can decide which image is great i'm not comparing anything over here but you can definitely see this is the result that i got and yes let's move on to next topic as well and let's see what result do we get and then we will end the video as well so let's jump on to our next topic so this time i went on with like epic realistic room interior detailed living room and white and violet color so that we can get some light image so this is the result that we got and yes definitely if you go on to like higher resolution you will get amazing result as well yet again you can definitely say that this is somewhat like a dark style image and you can say this is somewhat like a light image let's go on to like editing prompt as well we will go with like white and let's go with like cream totally a light theme and let's see what result do we get with this time as well so guys that's the result that i got with changing prompt and you can definitely see white and cream color as i prompted one thing i realized and said earlier as well that illuminated diffusion tends to go towards like dark theme and you can definitely see you can definitely judge as well from this image it totally goes toward like dark theme and yes with art and arrows you can definitely see something like a royal style a marble type theme that's the one thing that i realized with this model so that's one of the main thing and if you go with like higher resolution you will definitely get some good result as well so that's one thing that is recommended go with like higher resolution and yes you will get amazing result so that's the thing that i wanted to discuss about illuminati diffusion and yes guys you can go and try this amazing model as well one thing that's changing this model is like noise offset and i will definitely make a video about it later on but yes that's the one thing that is changing this model i will show you some of the result that i generated with like higher resolution and i will end the video over here as well so just check around this result as well and yes definitely guys i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day and just enjoy this model first of all and let me know in the comment section below about this model as well enjoy the images guys bye guys